everybody. This is Shaughnessy with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy. And so I wanted to show you a couple of ideas that you can do, and then we're gonna work through a little bit of one together. So this is a page I've been working on. It's not finished yet, so don't get too excited. But um, so this is actually a page that is in between, and it's, um, I cut up a piece of, I took a page and I cut it out, and then I taped it back together, but leaving you know the clear tape in between so we can kind of see through like a window. Um, which I think is really fun. So we've created a new kind of page there. Uh, and we're gonna do the same thing today, um, creating a new kind of page and adding to the book that's already there. So this is an example, this is another small, I love these small journals, um, cause you can kind of work through them quickly and then you're done and then you feel excited because you have a little book that you made. So here's a page that I made, um, and this is just a, sort of a regular page. Um, but then we have this element that flips up here and we have some writing underneath. Um, so, that's something that we added in that wasn't already there. Um, with this page, I wanted it to look like it wasn't there, so I wanted it to be kind of secret. You can't really tell that it's there until you look at it and you flip it up. And I just did this by taping, you know, I made my, my little insert here and I just used some washi tape to tape it here to the next page. Um, so that's very easy to do. And we're gonna sort of do that um, with our book that we're using right now. Um, so what I've done, uh, and you can use your extra pages for this if you sort of um, glue them together and make them a little bit thicker as we've been doing. You can use um, another type of art paper if you have some maybe watercolor paper or like a sketchbook um, that you can tear a page out of. Uh, it's best if the paper that you're using is a little bit thicker, not just a regular like writing piece of paper, um, just because it will hold up a little bit better. Um, but if you don't have anything at all, uh, the I've done it before with an index card. If you have like a three by five card that you would make like flashcards out of, um, that will work too. Anything that's just a little bit um, thicker. What I wanna make is an accordion fold. So I wanna make like a, another small book that I can sort of poof, pop out um, and have a little bit of extra space there. Um, what I think I'm gonna do with it is make sort of like a, um, like a graphic novel with each um, section being sort of a different um, page or a different frame of the graphic novel. So you're gonna line up as much as you can one corner, whatever corner is like the neatest <laughs> cut, um, you're gonna line that up as best you can and then line up that edge. So we have the edge and the corner that are the same. Then we're gonna push back um, all the way to the end of your paper and fold it down. You can use the side of your thumb or finger. I also like to use one of these, one of our gift cards, um, and use this as a brayer. A brayer is sort of like a, or a folding bone, like a fancy thing that can um, do this, but this, uh, that can make a fold really nice and creased, but this little card will work just as well for our purposes. So there's my first crease, and it's pretty, pretty good, pretty straight, um, looking good. And so since I want this to be an accordion fold, I want it to go back and forth, I'm gonna now take my front piece and I'm gonna fold it back toward the center. So I'm gonna do the same thing um, over here. I'm gonna line up the edges as best as I can and push backward. I'm gonna first do it with my thumb, my fingers, and then I'm gonna use my card once I get that like I want it. Okay, so so far we got our couple folds here looking okay. And I'm gonna do my last one, so I'm gonna fold it back this way and put this one toward, the, again, the center fold. And there we go, so it's gonna look like this. We got our four, one, two, three, four frames, and actually eight if we count the ones on the back as well. All right, so I have one that's already um, done that, I'm, that I've uh, started working on. So here's the four fold that I'm going to use. And I just wanted each fold to have sort of its own background color. This is not, you know, this doesn't have any words on it. We're not doing um, uh, a lot of palimpsest, a lot of that layering of different textures on this one. I just wanted each one to have its own color. So I've used, uh, this was that thicker um, mixed media paper. So I went ahead and used some um, watercolors to just color in those backgrounds. I'm going to do the same thing on the back side again. So I get eight frames here um, and I'll be right back when that's done. Go on. Okay, so here we go. We got our eight panels um, ready to go. I'm going to Put them in my book. I've prepped a page here, not really anything on the page yet, just getting it ready. Um, it's been gessoed. Um, and I'm gonna, I think, just attach it right here so it will fold up like this and open up like that. Now I have to figure out which color I want to have be my ending color. Um, let's see. 
think I'm gonna go ahead and do this green as the ending color and the pink as the beginning. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna use regular old masking tape. If you have washi tape, it works well. If you have duct tape, if you have clear tape, um, the only problem with clear tape is if you're planning to paint over it, um, it won't, no paint will stick on the clear tape. So that's why I like the masking tape. Um, it's good to paint over and the washi tape is usually kind of, you know, fun to look at. What I wanna do is get as best I can the actual size of, the piece of paper that I want to tape on there. Just cut off a piece. Great. So I'm going to stick this on this side, um, starting at that very bottom corner um, and covering up the least amount that I can while I still get some, um, still make sure that tape is on the page. Great. So we've got this one page, this one side going. We're going to do the, um, the open side now. So we get both of them down so that it's very secure and it doesn't go anywhere. We want this page to stay right where it is. All right, and remember this uh, masking tape, you can paint right over it. If you don't like it, you can integrate it into your design, um, whatever works best for your page. Tuck that in. Okay, cool, so now I'm attached. There we go. Um, and I get to write my story here. So this is gonna go right here, and it's just gonna become now part of my book, right? So we, we altered this, we, we added something that wasn't there before. And you can alter your books in lots of ways. We put this, um, in this one we put the envelope. Um, I'm really excited, I have this piece and I can't know, I don't know where to use it yet. It's one of those pieces of an envelope that has a little see-through part. So. I'm gonna stick it over something and have you be able to see through it, but I haven't quite yet decided what page that goes on. Um, we've done the, the clear page, the, the stripey page in the center that you can see through, and now we've added on this sort of mini book here in, um, inside of our other books. So this is our, we can alter anything. You can, you can take what's given to you and you can add to it and take away from it and cover it over and start over. Um, and, and the working in your book is a really great way to sort of practice that. All right, you guys have a great day. Can't wait to see what you do. Bye-bye.